Swordsman Online 2022. What's up, Saviors? GH here. Today, we're gonna do a Swordsman Online gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Swordsman Online is a tab targeting fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. Gender select. We're gonna play as a female character. Okay, straight ahead to the character customization. We only have one costume. And then, here's the different hairstyles that we can pick. So about 12 hairstyles, guys. For some reason, I'm weirded out by the face of our character. <laughs> okay, the eyes is too big. Okay, let's pick this one. Now, in the face customization, there's eight face shape. And what is this? Advanced settings. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of sliders over here, guys. We can change the face depth, face width, face height. We can change the cheekbone, jaw, chin. Wait a minute. Size? Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> it's pretty awkward. Let's just put it in the middle. Height? Okay. Look at this. We can do this. <laughs> We're not. Let's not do this. Okay. Let's be in the middle. Then we can also change the ear. Now here's the eye customization, eight different eye presets. And if you don't want the preset, here's the advanced setting. You can customize even deeper over here. Look at this eye sky. <laughs> okay. And this is the biggest. This is the smallest. Okay. Be in the middle. Man, it's gonna distract me as my character looks like this. Well, I'm not really looking at the face of my character. But anyway, put it in the middle. Okay, you guys get the point. Eye customization. And this is where we change the nose. And what's this detail? Dimple, face, scars, and moles. There's some kind of a preset over here. Let's name our character. Complete. There goes our character. Enter the game. And we're in the game, guys. Receive reward. Whatever that is. Receive it. And control mode. Swordsman classic. Traditional 3D. And action. Both of this is probably... Your usual point and click tab targeting style. And this one is the actions. Okay, so how about let's check out their action control mode and see what it's all about. Confirm. Okay, we can move the WSD, guys. Can we jump? Yes, we can jump, but there's a one second delay. We can do this. Ooh, look at this. Seems like a legit action combat. We can attack even without a target. Right mouse button is the kick, but there's a delay, man. Okay, we can do this. Open up our bag for beginner support boxes. What is this? Gear shard. Is there anything else over here? Nope, nothing. Talk to Grace. Get a quest. How do we talk to Grace? Oh, we need to summon the cursor to be able to talk to Grace. Okay. Are we done with that? Now we need to hunt down mysterious raiders to save the village. And look at this game. Looks pretty decent. Another good looking MMORPG that's forgotten. And I think that's our target. Let's attack them. Battle guide. Punch. Man, the game still highlights the enemy when you attack them. It's kind of like auto lock on, but it feels actiony. So how about let's do more combat? It's just and there's a delay about a second. Okay, come. Okay, here's a problem, guys. We're super rooted when we're attacking, and I'm not liking it. Look at this. When we're attacking, we can't do anything. We can't move freely when we're attacking. But I tell you, this feels like action combat. But the way they did it, it's like tab targeting. Look at this. The enemy is still highlighted. Can we attack over here? Look at this. I'm punching the wrong enemy. <laughs> I mean, I'm punching air and I'm still hitting the enemy. That's an indication of tab targeting. Yeah, man. I don't want to call this action combat. No. But they did a good job of giving you the illusion that it's action combat, but it's still tab targeting. Look at this. When I punch him one time, the enemy is going to be highlighted. Then look at this. I'm pointing over there. Look at this. I'm punching air right now. <laughs> All we need is to be slightly near the enemy and we're gonna hit them after we highlight the enemy. That's tab targeting. This is tab targeting. Okay, now we need to talk to the village chief. Village chief? Ugh, I accidentally pressed the windows button. Talk to the chief. Now we need to take cover from the enemies behind the house. Okay, there's an arrow. Let's follow it. What house? Oh, here? Okay, now we're hiding. Skip that. Now we need to retreat. We're running. And more enemies, guys. They're ambushing us. Let's go. We don't have any skills. Man, I don't really like this. We're super rooted when we're attacking. But it works. 
does the job. And we're done with those enemies. Do we need to finish them off all? No. The quest is run toward Fugyu. And we're getting ambushed again. What the floppy bird. If I'm being honest here, guys. I'm not enjoying the combat. Because we're super rooted. Finish them all off. Oh, we don't need to defeat all of them. We just need to run. Okay, we're running. Cutscene. Okay, guys. Before we continue on with the game, we're gonna check out the cash shop. And here it is, guys. Marketplace. And before we start, I would like to say that they're not really taking advantage of this cash shop. Because this private server has their own web shop. And the web shop currency is called Green Crystal. And to get that green crystal, you can either vote. Yeah, there's a voting system in the game. If you vote for this private server, you're gonna get green crystal. A bunch of them. Or you could just donate. Okay, so if you're interested in the cash up, what it's like when this was officially available. Here it is, guys. They got all the good stuff over here. The usual. First, we're gonna check out the miscellaneous. This is where we can find the EXP boost, inventory expansion, buff items teleport items and emotes we're not gonna check them out individually because there's a lot of items in this cash up and the description is not very helpful okay anyway how about let's check out this double exp pill look at this grants one hour of personal multi exp one hour of exp boost guys now let's move on to the fashion the fashion in this game is just skins they don't have any stats well at least if you buy it initially now here's the mount guys we can have a cat an ostrich a cloud walker, a stallion, and more stallion, and a panda. And of course, the more expensive your mount is, the faster it will be. And there's also umbrellas for some reason that can make you walk faster and run faster. Then here's the pets, guys. We can have a dog, a cat, a panda. I think this is a koala. Well, anyway, here's a fox, a lamb, and a sheep. And based on the description, they're just normal pets. No stats. Now, guys, this gem tab over here is what you're looking for. Because these are the items that add stats to your gears. Look at this. For example, this rainbow pouch one. This contains a gem that can add HP to your gear. Now, this Amazon pouch over here adds Chi. This sapphire pouch over here adds attack. This moonstone pouch adds defense. This one is for evasion. And this one is for fire damage. You guys get the point, right? And the higher the level of your gem, the more stat it will give. But of course, putting gems is not that simple. You gotta use other cash up items too to put sockets and to actually put the gem in the socket. So you gotta spend more. <laughs> and that's basically the cash up. There are more items in the cash up, but I don't wanna linger too long in this cash up because you guys saw already what you needed to see. So let's go back and play the game. Okay guys, I would just have to remind you that all of those cash up items over here, you can get those on the web shop and you can take advantage of that web shop by just voting every day. Yeah, you can vote every day and you can have all of the cash up items. Okay, so what's our quest? Uh, we don't have any quest. Oh, there he goes. Talk to this guy. Oh, accept. Now he's asking us to press and hold Z to meditate. Okay, we're meditating guys. Look at this. Is that it? May I need to hold it for a while? Okay. Holding the meditate button. Exciting. And we're done meditating. Turn over the quest. Complete. Oh, accept. Now we need to go to the inner chamber of the inn. Okay, there it goes guys. There's autopathing. Look at this. Ooh, there's a chamber at the inn. And we're supposed to go over here. You be guide. Okay, how can I remove that thing over here? Got it. I still don't know how to summon the cursor. Okay, anyway, interact with this thing. That's our quest. Wine jar. And we're done with that quest. We need to take it to Lin Hu Song. Turning over the quest. Complete. Hook 7 new quest. Now, hey, wait a minute. I think I saw that the rewards is a jump and a dash. Oh, okay, we need to drink with Lin Hu Song. How can we drink with him? Okay, there it goes. This is the emote. Oh, we got a jump and an air hike. Complete. Hook 7 new quest. Now what? Now our target is Fugyu. Ju Dodo, what? Whatever that is. Let's just autopath and go over there. And we're outside. Look at this, guys. It's the first city. Before we autopath, let's explore a bit. Look at this. There's a golden statue over here. Sarano. Dire Wolf. 
I think that's a player statue. Okay, so let's autopath. I just found out how to summon the cursor. You need to double press control. It's not single press, which is kind of weird. Okay, anyway, it works. It's happening over here. Ugh, talk to this NPC. New clothes, complete. There it goes. Give me a new quest. Open up our inventory. What's happening? I is guild. Equip this. Look at this, guys. We're changing appearance as we equip items. Okay, so how about let's autopath again? We need to find Wu Xin Chan. And there he goes. Now he's gonna give me bottoms. Open up our bag. Hey, wait a minute. How do we open the bag? There we go. Tutorial complete. Autopath again. Okay, now the game is tab targeting. We can switch our control mode with just pressing the control button. Yeah, makes sense. Copy. Give me another quest. Open up our bag. Equip the sandals. Then go find Guan San Chu. I prefer this traditional tab targeting than using their pseudo action mode. Because this control mode over here feels proper. Look at this. Okay, now we need to talk to this guy. He's giving us potions. And now we need to ride this wagon over here. Nice. Okay. Ride the wagon. Wait a minute. There we go. Look at this, guys. <laughs> this is fun. And where are we going? What's happening? Our wagon is sinking underground. Okay, now what? Talk to Lin Hu Song again. Complete. Ugh. Now I have two quests over here. Is that the quest? Okay, accept it. How about this other one over here? Take it also. Oh, that other quest is autocomplete. Nice. Okay, now we need to visit the master of the 10 schools. And this is the part where we join a school, I guess. We can join the Shaolin school. Male only. What the flappy bird? Okay. There goes Sun and Moon. Wu Tang clan. We can join this. I kind of want to join this clan. Okay, there are others over here. Five Venoms, Splendor, Zephyr, Harmony, House Tong. Ime? And is this Infinity? Am I reading this correct? Okay, let's join Wu-Tang. Meet the masters. Join the school. Let's go. We're now a Wu-Tang clan member. Close this. Turn over the quest. Oh, he's gonna give me a weapon. What's happening here? I keep talking to this NPC over here. And I keep leveling up. Okay, now we need to find Zothin. Open up our bag. I think we need to equip gears. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at this. Our first weapon, guys. We have a giant sword. Complete. I'm lagging this. Oh, accept. Cloth bag. Talk to this guy again. Give me the cloth bag. What is that? Story area. What's happening here? Equip the cloth bag. Okay, we need to follow this guy over here. He's running. Follow him. We have a new skill over here. Chi of Ice. Infusion. And Impulse. I think we need to fight this guy. Oh no. We need to defeat disciples. Let's go. What's happening there? Those are buffs. Okay. Okay, now the combat is more like it. Traditional type targeting. What's happening here? It's not auto-attacking though. Auto-basic attacking. I need to press Q to attack. More enemies. Let's go. Now I'm lacking the combat. Let's go. He's running again. Defeat him. Bruh, why are you pausing over there? What's happening? There's some kind of a portal. And of course, this wouldn't be a Chinese MMORPG without a flashy jump scene, you know? Let's go. Jump. We're gonna perform acrobatics. Look at this. <laughs> this is mandatory in Chinese MMORPGs. And of course, we're riding our sword. Man, that dude really ran away. I really felt frame drops after that acrobatic scene. Okay, anyway, we need to hunt down ambushing swordsmen. And I think it's this, guys. Let's go. Wait, wait a minute. Is it auto combating? Look at this, guys. So when I'm pressing the auto pathing over here, my character keeps attacking, but it stops. What's happening there? Anyway. Do this, let's do this. And we're done with them. And that swordsman online from the start. 
At the beginning, the character creation is in-depth and thankfully they also offered presets, more options to people. Now the intro to the game is well done, it's not littered with dialogue that we all don't read anyway. Now the questing is standard and there's auto-pathing that helps in progressing the game. As for the combat, they gave us options but in reality, it's all tab targeting. The action combat control mode they offered is just the perspective is action but it's still tab targeting. And to me, it's not great. But the traditional tab targeting control mode that they have here works like a charm. Now, as for the graphics, it still looks very recent to me. But the performance is a hit or miss because stutters and frame drops happens. All in all, Swordsman Online is still alive and we can still play it. And if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen or check out my Discord. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always, this is Gimme Hardcore. See you in the next one.